Yuki? How's it going, baby? <laughs> you wanna talk about it? Uh-huh. Let's talk about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like, <laughs> so I can like settle down in here. <laughs> oh, no, please. <laughs> Dude, it's too much. <laughs> please, thank you. That was, that was such a legitimately bad idea. My shoes are destroyed. Jesus Christ. So if you couldn't hear me in the bubble pit, we're at Pride 2019. We're making a quick pit stop, per se, before our photo shoot later. And needless to say, we're having a pretty sick time, but I don't think... The weather is gonna really be too kind to us here today. So the rain has started. Yeah, I feel like that would be a pretty gross understatement. It's actually raining sideways. <laughs> That may not have been as clean of an experience as we wanted, but maybe, Diana, this photo shoot will. <laughs> what do we do? Cosplay photo shoot. Okay, photo shoot time. It's still super duper dreary. Weather's still a little less than fun, but we're at this super gorgeous site. Like, uh, take a look at this for real, really quickly. <laughs> I believe in you, dude. <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> okay, so we had an awesome photo shoot yesterday. We got some really insane pictures, and there's one in particular that I know I'm gonna post. But I wanted to show you guys how I touch up images before I post them And I wanted to show you how easy it is and how you can use a free program to do it Like you don't need Photoshop or any similar like expensive editing software to make images look great You know like oftentimes when all you need to do is just touch up a picture a little bit You can use a program like my personal favorite editing program Which is the one I use all the time to make all my thumbnails edit all my cosplay pictures. I use paint.net paint.net is Awesome, it has plugin support, and I want to show you how I use it to touch up images to post and make them look nice. So, first things first, I can immediately tell that the sky is clipped. Everything else looks wonderful, but the sky is overexposed, and we're gonna try to bring out some details in the sky by opening up of the levels right here. So as you can see, the input shows that our highs are clipped. They're just completely blown out and we wanna fix that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this down a little bit to bring out some detail in the middle right here. And that will allow us to drag down the output so we can unclip our highs a little bit and bring out more detail in the sky. And you can immediately see not only in this, but here too, we have clouds. We can kind of see some cloud detail forming and it's not nearly as assaulting on the eyes. And you can see the difference we've made already. Like we've done that and it's all, it already looks so much better, like in so many degrees, dude. So next we're gonna touch on the curves and this is where things get a little bit fun too. And what this can allow us to do is actually independently fix both of these issues. We'll just put a point right there and then drag this down and as you can see, detail is coming out from both sides. Like on this end, obviously we don't want to boost it too much, but there's more clouds coming back again. And then we press OK and then do this again. You can see immediately all the detail we brought out lower and then a lot of detail we brought out in the sky. Like you can see cloud formation, you can see a lot more green down here, but we're still not done with the curves. We're gonna go back to the curves again and go to our RGB curve and then drag down the lowers right here, just a little bit, don't do this too much, and then drag up the highs right here. But not too much again, because we, we actually risk blowing out our upper end yet again. As you can see, this added even more detail back. Just go back, see. And then honestly, looking through our other options, I think this is just about it. I can't stress enough how this is up to you, how the feel you want for the image, it's up to you. And as you use this program and these plugins more, you're gonna learn what works for you and what you need to add to your image to make it better. But I hope I gave you a little bit of a starting point towards the end of this vlog, just a quick little thing showing, hey, it's not hard and it's free and you can do it, okay? But yeah, that concludes this mini vlog. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. If you really enjoyed it, I wanna give it a favorite. Let me know in the comments down below if you like this, if you that I should keep doing these. These are really fun to make and I'd like to do more on little things like this in the future. But above all else, be safe, make good choices, have a wonderful day, and peace out. <laughs> now we're gonna go do something about my hair because it looks so bad right now.